and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall Aggro. It's going to be our last donation deck of the day. We're going to have Diana, we're going to have Nocturne, we're going to be attacking. This is a deck that is a solid deck and it was a deck that was at one point part of the top of the metagame. Um, right now we have one kind of newish card in here with the Unto Dusk being able to activate an ally's Nightfall effect again if you have Nightfall on it and draw a card. Um, I'm pretty, I guess the Flight also kind of came out that same time. The Flight's just a really good one drop to help be an enabler turning on at Nightfall for us. Pretty excited about this one. I think that, um, I, I think this deck's good and every time I play against it I'm always very impressed with it and think it's a, a real good deck to play it's not an easy one though like nightfall is a difficult keyword to play because it's it's difficult to um like daybreak's a lot easier keyword because it's just your first card for the turn all right i'll play this card first easy but when it's like your second card which nightfall needs to be like your second plus card for the turn that's harder to sequence of like what card to play first then what cards to play after and you kind of have to sequence down the road of like all right next turn what am i playing first then after and then and the turn after that what am i playing first then after and so on so it's a difficult deck to sequence um, but once you get the hang of it i think it is a good powerful deck so let's go ahead and go play our five games in ranked and we'll see how we do with nightfall aggro oh looks like we got a mirror match it looks like my opponent is much more used to playing these champions than what I am. Alright, we're mulligating Doom Beast and keeping the rest. I mulligan the three mana units quite a bit in this deck because they both have Nightfall and they're not so they're not easy to play on turn three. Even so like they're later than that. So I, I mulligan both of those quite a bit. Yeah, I probably should have mulligan Nocturne as well. In that same vein. Nocturne's just so powerful, but yeah, I probably should have. Especially how we've drawn another Nocturne and then a Doom Beast, and yeah, obviously from what we've drawn, I certainly wish I would have mulliganed it. Yeah, Diana's probably just the best yeah, Diana's probably just like the best card in our deck for most matchups. Night but I can certainly see Diana being very important here. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Night descends. I will be heard. I don't like using this card here. I also don't like taking 7 damage. Faust says in the mirror, basically look for just Stalking Shadows, 1 drops, and mull the rest. Well, my opponent has had Stalking Shadows and a lot of 1 drops, <laughs> so that's probably a bad sign for me. Darkness hides in my path. Forgive me. I don't know, I kind of feel like I should trade flights with them. So I think I think the flight is their ephemeral card, I think, from Stalking Shadows. The flight with Stalking Shadows works really well. We are one and the same, Sunchild. No more of your lies, Lunati. So they, they either have a second flight or a second... They have a second one of one of these two, either this onlooker or the, or the flight. They were both played right around here with Punish transgressions. that. All right, so they're not playing their ephemeral. Luminari, rise. Let's 
six down to eight. So they have three cards left, with their, and then their four created cards. I have just one created card and three cards left. So we'll have our Overwhelm try to kill the flight, get this elusive damage in. This doesn't level up, like if I attack out, this doesn't level up Nocturne. Nocturne's at uh, 1, and the flight doesn't count, so that's only 2, 3, 4. Go over to me. So I have a better board, but they got more cards and more mana. I'm going to just keep the other Nocturne available instead of... Because, you know, like, if I, if I play that Unspeakable Horror there to try to save my Nocturne in play, and then they have Hell Cascade, we're in, in a lot of trouble. That was a pretty awkward draw. Embrace the darkness. Even a full moon has a dark side. Yeah, this is pretty awkward. Yeah, I can just use it. This is a nightfall activator. I don't love that, but I guess I have to. Like, am I just gonna be? I, I may just play like the Cygnus this turn. I cannot turn back. Save these other three cards for next turn. Night descends. I have 11 mana Eric. next turn if I play Cygnus. And those take nine. Alright, well they did a better job finding one drops and Dianas than what I did. Okay, playing against some uh, Noxus PNZ. I'm thinking we should take Cygnus out of this deck. It's only been two games, but this Cygnus looks terrible. It could have been, you know, could have looked good too. You know, like this is definitely small, small sample size. You know, how does it look after that? But man, the Cygnus. We'll see, though. We'll see.
you miss me. So even if they kill the flight... That thing still has zero power now. But it does look like that was their plan, right? Like, have me attack with the flight, then they play Ezreal afterwards, and then hit me with Ezreal. Looks like that was the plan. I'm at zero out of five right now. I don't really want to Fading Memories any of these, but I want to play Fading Memories first, of course, and then go, like, Doom Beast, Crescent Guardian. Maybe just get another of the flight. Yeah, the problem with playing, like, regular... So, yeah, I could have played regular Diana and then leveled up Diana... But that doesn't... It doesn't leave me the mana with Pale Cascade still. Plan's gonna be Levite. Like, <clears throat> they're gonna have to probably wait till next turn for Leviathan. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. Another Death Lotus? Man, I sure hope not. Come on. Try to do 13 to them. Alright, so they got two cards in hand. I just go Nexus. Trying to figure out what to do with that card. Oh, this is tar this targets, doesn't it? 
I was just planning on using the using the unto dust, ignoring any targeted portions. That targets. I forgot about the whole targeted portion thing. I'll still give it elusive. I was thinking just you know be able to save all that mana and play that six mana card this next turn. They forced us to choose death or the blade. We can't just hope for change. We must fight for it. Ill met by moonlight. Only a five three? Oh, I guess it doesn't count the earlier ones. Such little lies. It's our time. Well. Thank you. What is that about? In the skies. That is the complete overconfident. I can't lose anyway. Play. Seven damage to them. Repair the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is old as Solari and Lunari alike. Rise. Yeah, I mean, we we didn't deserve like we that that wouldn't have worked, right? Going like even if I would have backed up a turn on the the Cygnus, it wouldn't have worked because they had all those ways to stun, right? So like it it would not have worked. This is where we need to draw atrocity. Oh wait, we're dead. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, playing against some dragons. I certainly like no No, we drew it. I was gonna say I certainly like no Cygnus in my hand. Ugh. Why do we always have to have this <laughs> this crappy card? Night so getting rid of the two three elusives because our champions are the best cards, but this just isn't really an elusive matchup with Sharp Sight. Um, the value of the elusives is less. Expecting a sharp sight block. Oh, there hasn't been anything else.
Alright, well that's better. That's better than just the regular sharp side block, I think. While they save life, that's a lot of cards that... You know, they just traded three cards for my one drop. Two of them very valuable cards. Shining gifts from the sky. Yeah, I guess we'll just go get a 4-1. So if they want to attack and gain life. We just trade. Eclipse Dragon. Forge ahead. Oh, wow. They're not happy about that Unto Dust. Alright, one and two. Thresh Nessus. <laughs> Cygnus, let's get it out of here. Maybe I should have mulligan the Shade Stalker as well. See what we see, We're really bad at finding Diana. I guess we'll just play this 2-3. Not what I really want to be doing. Sure. I'll go to the next turn. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Yeah, I could see that being a caretaker. Could just be playing into Glimpse Beyond. Or even Caretaker, just giving them room. Yep. I want to see what this other Nightfall card was going to be, though. Okay, that could be useful against Nasus later. One out of five. So I guess I have to Fading Memories Nocturne. What do I want to Fading Memories? I kind of think the one drop. Turns out one, two, three, four. 
I'm just killing Nocturne though. Yeah, Vile Feast would be like the card that they would have that could save Thresh, and so I want to make sure that I'm challenging Thresh with a card that doesn't die to a Vile Feast. Yeah, three ones fearsome too. I was just kind of kind of seeing if I wanted to attack, you know, kind of check to see if I want to attack with it. So, assuming like the three one three two block these, then yeah, the, in order to block the goat, they'd have to either block with sand spinner or reaper, and I would be happy with either of those. So it's a good attack, good. Good way for us to uh, get ahead on the board, but of course the question is: is how do we finish this out? We're down to just two Doom Beasts, and that's basically it in hand, where they have six cards, which is a lot. We're playing Stalking Shadows in this deck, aren't we? Did we forget to put that in here? No, there are three Stalking Shadows. It's been four games, and we haven't drawn a single Stalking Shadows in four games. Yeah, I was hoping that they would challenge Nocturne with this thing, right? So I was hoping that Nocturne wouldn't die. But yeah, I could have done that. I could have done Nocturne challenge um, the Thresh, and then I would have had better attacks with everything else, and they, you know, they would have just traded off their their other two things as well. I can, I can go for lethal by saying two things can't block, right? I can do that 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 whole they can't block, and then attack out. Their only removal is basically atrocity, so they'd have to like block and then sacrifice atrocity. Oh no! Then this doesn't work. Right, that's slow speed, that skill that gives them opportunity to play another blocker. Ugh. I just thought, I basically, I kind of thought, well, might as well play the Unto Dusk first before the Moonlight Affliction and just kind of see what we draw, right? That, that's what I was thinking. It's like, might as well play that first, see, you know, see what we get. But yeah, I guess that's the reason not to do it first. Now we get all these blockers. Sorry, Kavo. All right, so I guess I can't attack anymore. Life would be a lot easier if I could just draw Stalking Shadows ever. <laughs> all my opponents have all these cards that they're getting card advantage in, and I, I don't they have any. Us to choose death or the blade. What good comes of mortal greed? Punishment Yeah, I messed that up. I would have just gone for it. I 
So this would be me having a four power elusive, potentially. It's so like a Pale Cascade, Unspeakable Horror, a Cygnus. Anything like that. Okay, good. Finally, Stalking Shadows. About time. All right, hopefully no Withering Whale. <laughs> Showed up at the very end of the fourth game. One of the best cards in our deck. Yeah, they still run Vile. We played against this deck earlier and they had Withering Whale. So they, we played against the opponent earlier that had two Vile Feasts and a Withering Whale. Yeah, we know, we definitely know they have Black Spear, right? And Black Spear is enabled now. Maybe they have none of them. Split it up with a 3-3-2. One Black Spear doesn't save them. Okay, they, they only had the Atrocity. Finally found Stalking Shadows. That won us the game. I don't know if they had that, you know, I didn't see where that atrocity was. I don't know if they had it where if, if I would have gone for lethal with the Moonline Affliction, I don't know if they would have been able to, to atrocity to save themselves. Because that could have been really bad for me if that, if that would have been the case. Alright, playing against some Frostbite for our last game here for Nightfall Aggro. Really a pretty good looking hand. You know, I definitely like having the flight help turn on it. Uh, Nightfall, now we have Stalking Shadows as well. Alright, so we'll put the flight back, redraw it. Keeping them from attacking with that thing. That definitely could easily be a mistake. All the world on one arrow. Cold and unforgiving as you need. Night descend. Face your heretic. Okay, so this will force them to do something first. Yeah, these Marauders are super scary whenever they're attacking. Lead the target. So a Pill Cascade would level us up and give it plus one, plus one, so we get to go to four health. It would be just a two, four. But they could not break me! Good hand. Good good turn for them. Double trick there. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Man, great hand.
Sometimes you just gotta give it up to your opponent. They just have a great hand. So this will kill a Marauder, and then kill a Marauder or kill Ash. I will be heard. If I kill Ash. These are four threes. They go to five, four, six, five. The skies oh, so Face your heretic. Quality hand, that's for sure. That's the thing. Look what I found. Come on, boys. Ignorant brawl. That's unfortunate. Me. Playing playing a whole lot of brittle steels and elixir of irons does look like a good idea with Legion Marauders. Really efficient ways to protect them because you just want to attack so many times with them. Arise in our time of need. The full moon awakens the soul. Night descends. I will be heard. If you ain't hurt, you will be. Get all these whispered words. Yeah, maybe Marauders really do work well in that kind of deck. Time to make an appearance. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. I'll cut them apart. You're mine. Crows will have what's left. Plenty for all of us. Fear not death. I whisper truth into lies. Sisters. I'm hoping we can get some more, uh, you know, more elusive or something like that. Ugh, a goat. So right now I'm only looking at I'm looking at five damage. I need two more. So we need a Doom Beast on top. Their deck was incredibly impressive this match.
It's really just the dream. I need just a moment. <laughs> First me, then the world. The brittle steels and brittle steel elixir of iron troll chant. Those things are really what uh, looked great. All right, so we ended up going two and three here with our Nightfall aggro deck. A little disappointed. I thought that we'd have a better record. Um, but, you know, it's, the games don't always go the way that you want. We did see, like, those first four games, how we, we never had Stalking Shadows. That, that, that card's just an important one to have. And then that last game, my opponent had some really, really good tricks. You know, like the being able to have... You know, multiple brittle steels, elixir of irons, troll chance. Those cards were awesome with the marauders, and we just couldn't kill a marauder. It feels like feels like this deck could use just a little bit more interaction. I wasn't a fan of Cygnus. I know it can you know finish games out, but I just was not a fan of that card. I think I would just want like some black spears in here because like we have like unspeakable horror that can do one, but that's it. <laughs> you know, as far as like trying to kill an opponent's uh, champion or anything like that. I just, I just want to be able to kill some champions sometimes, or kill like some units that are that are really uh, giving me trouble, and this deck just can't do it as is. I kind of, I kind of want Black Spear in here. You have Diana and Nocturne that can give the vulnerable, yes, but you don't always have those, as we saw with those games. I wouldn't mind playing like a Sunburst or two. Also, like in, maybe instead of Cygnus, just go Sunburst. Um, as far as the cards in the deck, the the Shade Stalkers were fine. They were okay. Fading Memories is also Fading Memories is probably like the card that's my least favorite in the deck. I know it can turn on Nightfall, but the Ephemeral like just getting an Ephemeral unit is pretty worthless, right? Because like the Ephem like maybe it can best case scenario it can block, but for the most part it doesn't really do very much. I've never been happy with this Fading Memories card. Maybe instead of Fading Memories you just go Spell Thief. That's actually probably what I'd want to do instead of playing Black Spear. So there you go. You get you get your card that can turn on Nightfall very efficiently with Spell Thief, and but then you can actually have like removal spells, right? Because like your opponent, like basically everybody else plays good spells, so you can have like those spells and just surprise them. That's that's honestly what I would do is just play Spell Thief. I think Spell Thief is good. I mean, I think lots of people play great spells. I think you can surprise people with um, even just having like a sharp sight that could surprise them or just, you know, any of their other stuff. Like, I think I think this is a really underrated card. All right, but there we go. That was Nightfall Aggro. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments of what do you think of these three slots. Like, are you a huge Fading Memories fan? Feel free to let me know um, over on YouTube. But yeah, Fading Memories and the Cygnus were the, the cards that I was really underwhelmed with. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of those cards. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Nightfall Aggro. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.